a simple but stunning trifold hunky-dory card. Hiya, it's Amanda here from Lolly Lulu Crafts and today we're going to be making a card that is a trifold card and we're going to be using these toppers here from this hunky dory sheet Joys of Spring and this gorgeous piece of cardstock. So I wanted to do a trifold because I thought this is so pretty with this um, kind of window effect and I just thought it would look really really nice to have that all on the card at the front. So what we're going to do is actually really a simple card to make and all we need to do is we've got an A4 piece of card here. I'm actually going to cut it down to make it um, more even for uh, folding to make it easier and then we're going to start folding it into three so it's very simple. Okay so the first thing I want to do is just cut a quarter inch off this to make it an 11 and a half piece of cardstock. So I want to cut it off the edge without the bow so we're going to pop it in this way round, bring it up to our 11 and a half mark and then making sure it's straight just cut down that edge. So now we've got a piece of cardstock that's 11 and a half by 8 and a quarter and we need to score it but I do actually want my middle section to be wider and you'll see why because I'm not going to fold it in quite the same way I'm not going to literally sort of zigzag it we're going to fold it slightly differently so I want the front a little bigger because if you look at our toppers here the front the middle window is slightly bigger so I think it will look better to follow that through Okay, so what we need to do is score at three and three quarters from this side, and then at three and one quarter from also from that side. Then rather than try and work it out the other way around, we're just going to flip it over and we're going to do our three and a quarter and three and three quarters. And this is giving us a center panel of four inches and then a side panel of obviously three and a quarter each and then these two little pieces here of half an inch that's just going to give us that uh, fold so that it kind of concertinas it will make sense when we do it so let's pop this to one side and we'll start the actual scoring because I think it will make more sense as I score it rather than me trying to explain it in words so the First fold at three and a quarter, we're going to fold our cardstock towards you, so right sides together as it were. And then our second fold at the one that was at three and three quarters, was it? We're going to score it away so that it opens it back up again. So we then get this little V. W, yeah, V, I guess, and that then just allows that to sit like so. And then we're going to do exactly the same on this side. So we're going to take the first fold and fold it towards us, and just make sure we score it along the back. And then on the second fold, we're going to fold it back away from us. And as you can see, we've got a perfect folding because look the lines are matching beautifully and then we're going to just score with our bone folder along the back here and making sure that's nicely done and then you can make that bigger so that it really sits behind if you want and then we've got a card that's got that fold in it like so and and I know for posting that might look quite big but actually all you're going to do is you're going to fold that back on itself and fold that back on itself and then you're just going to get a DL shape card to post so it's going to be not a big card in that way to post out and that will be fine and then it will just sit hopefully nicely by just sitting like so on itself so now what we need to do is put our little elements up, pop them out and see whether we've got some space. For extra decoration. So these are going to go like so. 
So let's get our adhesive and stick those down. Now I'm going to stick them completely flat because that's going to make it much simpler for the actual posting out. So I'm going to take my centerpiece first because that's the most important one to get correct. So I'm just going to use my ATG and just go over it with some of that. Now to ensure that we're getting it in the right position, I'm just going to rescore these so they hold a bit flatter for a moment. And then I'm going to get my piece of card here and just squish that down so it's straight. And then I'm going to use that so that I've got a nice straight line to make sure that my middle one is in position and then I can follow the others to that one. So put that in there and then I've got my second one here so that's going to line up there to that line. And then this one, I'm popping that down like so because we want the bottom lines, the bottom of them lined up because we have actually got a sentiment that goes over the top of these so it makes it kind of even if we wanted it to. We've got this uh, with love which then sits across the top and hopefully lines up the top piece with the top of our element here. So we're just going to put some adhesive on the back of this and on the second piece as well so that they're really glued for us to pick up. And then again I'm just going to do the same method. I'm going to use my little piece of cardstock here to help me see where the element should sit to so that we know that it's in position. Like so. And then the love, so it says with love. There we go. So that's that done there. And then we're going to add this happy birthday which matches in with that into the centre here. Like so. And I'm keeping it all flat so that when we flap these back it will be fine. And then lastly, I just want to add some little gems, which will be the only non-flap thing really, and they're hardly anything to them. And we've got some gorgeous purple gems here. I just want to add onto here. go. I think that just finishes that off and there's our finished card. So a really simple card actually to make. It looks a, bit, a, a very different shape so it's just a little bit different. It's going to stand up like so. We've pulled it a bit flat but it will stand up like that. So you've got a cute little shape, a bit different and when it's up it just looks just something a bit more unusual but you can still then fold it flat and pop it in a regular size envelope so just a bit of fun so I hope you've enjoyed making this card with me I'd love to hear your comments and if you enjoyed it I'd love if you could thumbs up subscribe comment or one or all of the above <laughs> okay thanks for watching I'll see you again next time bye for now